everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Amber Rose, also known as The Religious Hippie. You can basically follow me on any social media platform, or you can go straight to my website at thereligioushippie.com. On my website, you can find economy rosaries, these haters will be prayed for prayer journal, and you'll also find my St. Jude prayer mug. You can also sign up for the St. Jude prayer group, where we get on Zoom once a week as a community, and we pray together, we pray the litany of St. Jude, the rosary, and then we have community afterwards. If you're interested in that, you can sign up on my website, and when you sign up, you can get 10% off the St. Jude prayer mug, and also, the haters will be prayed for prayer journal. We also have a fantastic group chat going on where we can pray for each other, ask for our intentions, and keep that community going. So definitely consider signing up if you are interested. The link is in the description below. However, if you are unable to support the ministry financially, please, please pray for us and also hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps the ministry. If you do feel called to do so, please consider donating financially on my website. It truly helps me keep this ministry running and I could not do this without you guys. Now, for those of you who are watching this video, maybe Maybe you already know who saints are, maybe you already know who your patron saint is, maybe you have a name saint, something along those lines. But today I'm going to be covering patron saints in general. Maybe you're choosing a saint for confirmation, or maybe you're just looking for a new saint to devote yourself to. I will help you out with that. So for starters, who are the saints? The saints are our heavenly family, and anyone who makes it to heaven is a saint, whether they are officially canonized or not. Saints are people who lived lives of heroic virtue, they were martyrs, they died for others and their faith, and are worthy of imitation and veneration. The saints have walked where we have walked, they have stood in our shoes and have dealt with the issues that we are still dealing with today, and sometimes it was a lot worse when they were alive. As Saint John Vianney states, he said, the saints did not begin well but they ended well. Many saints had difficult lives, just to name a few. Saint Augustine, his mother Saint Monica, Saint Kateri Takawitha, or Kateri Takawitha, depending on who you ask. Saint Joan of Arc, Saint Maximilian Kolbe. All of these saints went through tremendous suffering and their lives weren't easy, but being a saint is not easy and we shouldn't expect it to be easy. The saints are there to help us, guide us, and show us that Catholicism is not cookie cutter. Each one of them is different and there are so many saints we can call upon and ask for intercession for our individual needs. Now that we know what saints are, let's now talk about patron saints. Patron saints are advocates and intercessors for specific nations, places, people, illnesses, crafts, work, etc. And they're intercessors before God on our behalf for these things. For example, Saint Dymphna, she is the patron saint of those who struggle with mental illness. Saint Jude is the patron saint of lost causes, just a reminder to sign up for the Saint Jude prayer group. Saint Rita is the patron saint of impossible causes, which I think there's a lot of those today. <laughs> saint Monica is the patron saint of conversions. Saint Anne is the patron saint of mothers. The list goes on and on. Okay guys, really quick, I wanna tell you guys about Immaculate Blessed. Immaculate Blessed is one of my most favorite Catholic jewelry stores. The jewelry is high quality, it's beautiful, and best of all, it's Catholic. Eunice runs the Immaculate Blessed and she was always in search of great quality Catholic jewelry, but she was not impressed with what was being offered. So she prayed and discerned with God to open her own small business of Catholic jewelry. Please consider supporting small Catholic businesses like Immaculate Blessed and Eunice, and if you use the link in the description, you can get 15% off plus free U.S. shipping on your first order. So definitely go check her out and show her some love. All right, so how do we choose a patron saint? Now I say choose lightly because there's this saying in the Catholic Church that we do not get to pick our patron saint, our patron saint picks us. Now sometimes we already have a specific saint in mind that we would love to be our patron saint, other times we're not completely sure and that's totally okay. Whatever the situation is, there are two things that I highly suggest. Keep an open mind and heart to a saint that maybe you're not that familiar with and ask the Holy Spirit for help in discerning. When you're looking for a patron saint, I want you to consider these things and to find a saint that matches with each category for your individual self. And then once you have a list, narrow it down to three or maybe two saints that you feel like you really connect with, you're really interested in, and consider pursuing research from there. Okay, so the first question you should ask yourself is what is your vocation or state right now in this moment? Are you a student, a mother, a father, a hard worker, a blue collar worker? Maybe you're a business owner. Maybe you're a monk, a nun, wanting to be a nun or a sister, etc. St. Thomas Aquinas is the patron saint of students. St. Charles 
Borromeo is the patron saint of seminarians, and Blessed Carlos Acutis, even though he's technically not a saint just yet, he's a blessed, is considered to be the patron of social media, influencers, etc. Next question you can ask yourself is, what is your occupation? Are you a lawyer, a fast food worker, a farmer, small business owner, restaurant owner? And then what you want to do is you want to look up what saint best fits the category for you. So look up what you are, what your occupation is, and then look up what saint aligns with that occupation. So you could just type in patron saint of blank. Another question you can ask yourself is who do you want to emulate? Who do you want to be like? Maybe you have a saint that you really aspire to be like. You want to model your life after them. This is one of the best ways to choose a patron saint, in my own opinion. If you really want to be like a saint, ask them for their intercession and have them become your patron saint. This is more of a fun one, but you can figure out which saint you share a birthday with or which feast day of a saint you share a birthday with, that kind of thing. I did this when I was going through my confirmation when I was 11 years old because it was just really fun and when you're 11 you know you don't you don't really know how to do certain things like pick a patron saint for me i was really not being called to anyone who uh, shared a feast day with my birthday or anything so i didn't end up picking anyone in that category and that would be pretty cool if you share the feast day of your birthday with patron saint another thing to consider are your hobbies and your interests do you like animals saint francis of assisi might be good for you do you like biking rock climbing hiking journaling did I say hiking already? I'm just gonna throw it in there again. Whatever your hobby is, you will find a saint to match it. Once you've gone over all of these questions and you've found a saint for each of these questions, now begins the busy work and trying to figure out more about the saints. I've linked some worksheets below for you guys that will help tremendously in this type of research. There'll be questions, you can fill it out, you can print it out, and it will really help you get to know the saint better and figure out why you would want this saint to be your patron saint. I highly, highly do suggest these worksheets because they will help tremendously narrowing down the saints and then also discovering more about the saints that maybe you didn't think to research. Once you've done the worksheets and you've narrowed it down to maybe three or two saints, I highly suggest doing a novena to those saints and to see if there's one that specifically stands out to you at the end of the novenas. I want to reiterate that the right saint will pick you at the right time, and you'll know that that saint is picking you because they consistently show up. Saint Therese of Lisieux is known to leave roses to people. She's known to pop up in people's lives where she wants to be their patron saint. She'll leave rose petals, roses, you'll smell the scent of roses, and she'll continuously pop up in your line of vision, whether it's imagery or a novena or social media. Saints really do like to stalk us. <laughs> And that's a good thing. Now, if all else fails and for some reason you just cannot pick a patron saint, it's okay. You can have multiple as well, but I also linked below this awesome saint generator where you can just tap on a button, it generates a random saint, and you can just devote yourself to that saint for a year or a month. Now, let's say you guys already have a patron saint or you found one, but you're not really sure how to connect with them just yet. I also linked below a worksheet for that that will really help you connect better with your patron saint. And yes, you can have more than one patron saint. Some people have name saints, confirmation saints, middle name saints, saints for hobbies, jobs, vacations, vocations, vacations and vocations, yeah. Whatever it might be, I highly suggest that you have multiple saints in your corner, but Honestly, don't overburden yourself by trying to connect with more than four or five saints at once. But with all of that being said, guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and learned something about it. I would love to know who your patron saints are in the comments below. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye, guys!